Well, the November election just days away, and tonight we have a look at the new steps being taken to make sure every vote counts. Our Devin Truby explains what you need to know. All through October, ABC 10 led a voter engagement project, hearing from you at community events and online. One of the top concerns, election security. It's an issue Sacramento County hears too, and they have a new security measure this year. Apple air tags on all of our ballot transport bags that are coming back from vote centers and from dro ballot drop boxes so that we know where our ballots are at all times. While the county will not have security at the polls, all the election workers are trained in de-escalation. In 2020, the county started a 24-7 live stream of the ballot tabulation room, whether anyone is in there, county votes or not. But we have not had any instances that have made these things necessary. Rather, rather, we're responding to what our voters want from us, and we're trying to be accommodating um, in addition to very transparent about our processes. And when voters do cast their votes, according to Adam Probolski, president of Probolski Research and nonpartisan pollster, there is one major issue that's driving which candidates and propositions get the vote. The issue of homelessness is pervasive in this election, and they don't care whether you're running for uh, water district or you're running for, for Congress or, or, or governor. They want you to fix the homeless problem. That is Cal the, the, the plague of California right now, and they want them gone. Pollsters are not expecting record turnout, but inflation, jobs, and abortion will be hot-button issues. And keep in mind, you can take tours of the county voting office on Wednesday and Thursday between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Mm.